Okay, so let's talk about uh, the SCCM historical background and what is SCCM, what all things you can achieve uh, from SCCM. So, Microsoft System Center Config Manager is a Microsoft product. It is basically a device, enterprise device manager, management solution. If you talk about the historical details of SCCM, it started in 1994. Name of this tool was SMS system management server previously it was uh, released as sms 1.0 after some time it sms 2.0 and 3.0 later on microsoft released this sms 2003 with multiple versions in the year 2007 microsoft changed the naming convention from sms to sccm 2007 so sccm is nothing but system center config manager system center is an umbrella inside that umbrella config manager is one of the products got it in system center you have multiple products just like config manager you have operation manager scvm scsm other products are also available in system center then microsoft released sccm 2012 in the year 2012 and then with multiple versions like sp1 sp2 r2 then in the year 2015 November this was released 1511 15 is the year and 11 is the month so from here onwards Microsoft changed the naming convention again so they stopped taking this term sp1 sp2 rather they are taking year and month so every every year they are planning to release three they have released three versions of sccm so in the year 2016 they have released these three versions in the year 2017 they released these three versions and in the year 2018 they have released two versions so far 1802 and 1806 so 1806 is the current branch not 1802 got it so it was started in 1994 and now 1806 which is released in the month of June 2018. Now let's talk about the certification. We had a couple of exams before, like 243, 696, those are decommissioned. And this is the new exam 70 703. So Microsoft used to take multiple certification exam like 243, 696. Now they have clubbed together and they are taking this one 70 703. The cost of the exam is somewhere around 160 US dollar. In India, it is 4,800 rupees. So after taking this exam, you get MCP, Microsoft Certified Professional, and MCTS, Microsoft Certified Technology Specialist. You have to score 700 out of 1,000 to pass the exam. Now, if you talk about the opportunities in SCCM, there are n number of opportunities available, you know, all over the places because SCCM has been uh, good in the market ever since it, it, it from SMS 2003 actually, um, since, 2000, since 2003, it is, it has been uh, um, good in the market uh, people because it has like 39% of market share. That means out of 100 com companies, it is deployed in 39 companies so it's a big number right so if you have sccm all over the places you must need you also need sccm administrator people are getting people are earning somewhere around 45 us dollar per hour as per the statistic uh, those who are working on is working on sccm uh, administration job so there are a number of opportunities as per indeed and dice website these are the two leading job portals in us and canada wherein multiple opportunities are available now the training duration is going to be 35 hours wherein every day we will be doing one and a half hour session from monday to friday or based on your and my availability we can also customize the time that's not a problem but maximum time maximum duration is going to be 35 hours let's talk about sites and site roles now 
SACM has three sites. I'm not going into details, guys, since it is just a demo session, and I'm just giving you the overview of SACM and how the training will be conducted, what what all topics will be covered, and all. So, central administration site is there, primary site and secondary site. These are the three sites in SACM. Central administration site can manage up to four hundred thousand devices. Primary site can manage up to 100,000 devices. Secondary site can manage up to 5,000 devices. Then we have site roles like management point, distribution point, fallback status point. Every site has its functional. Every site roles ha has its functionalities, which we will be discussing later on in details. What all site roles can perform. So these are the site roles in SCCM. Now. I'll talk about the hierarchy in SACM. So suppose if you have a, let me just give you an overview. This will give you more sense. Suppose you started one uh, company and this company is located in, uh, it has like 50,000 50, devices. Now to manage, and this company is located in, in one building, one location, there is no branch office. So just the headquarter and without any branch offices to manage the devices in this location you need a primary site let's say primary site one and this primary site is managing all the devices in this location now in case you started you you are setting up couple of branch offices in different location so let's say you have one branch office in Mexico, one branch office is in London, one branch office is in San Francisco. So different location, you have different branch offices and every branch office has somewhere around 2000 devices in each location. Now to manage these devices in branch location, you need a secondary site. So what you do, do is you put secondary site here secondary site here secondary site here secondary site here and all these secondary side will report to primary and these secondary site will manage the devices in the native location got it guys so secondary site comes into the picture when you have devices on in remote location and when you have network bandwidth as a constant now suppose you grow you are growing your business and your number of devices is increased to to increase to 150000 so since one primary site cannot manage more than 100000 devices so you need another primary site so let's say one primary site you can put in in uh, europe one primary site in asia pacific so you can have ps2 primary site 2 primary site 3 so primary site 2 will be managing the devices in europe location primary site 3 will be managing the devices in asia pacific location and to manage the primary site you need suppose you want to centrally manage all the sites you need a cas server that is central administration site so cas will be sitting on the top of the hierarchy primary uh, will be managing the devices secondary will be on the remote location so that is the hierarchy of SACM, which is laid out here as well so suppose you have one building in houston just one headquarter so you just have a one primary site if you have headquarter and branch offices then you have primary plus secondary and if you have big organization where like a TCS, IBM, or Deloitte, or, or, or Microsoft, wherein you have more than 100,000 devices managed. Then you do a couple of primary sites and then secondary sites. One more diagram for central will be sitting on the top of the hierarchy, then primary, then secondary. Now, what, what all things SACM can do? These are the basic functionalities of SACM. So asset management, basically using SACM, you can manage your device, uh, you can do the asset 
management of your devices like hardware inventory and software inventory whatever the hardware you have in your company all hardware details will be captured by sccm and that will be stored in the database software suppose you want to have the software details whatever the software present in throughout the company you can get it from sccm sccm can do this hardware and software inventory asset intelligence for categorization of application which application falls under which category software metering is for usage monitoring how many people are using a set of licensed applications remote management you can use sccm to remote into another devices you don't need a team viewer or uh, you know different remote tool from third party vendors you you can use sccm to take remote of different devices deployment basically sccm is a deployment tool so through sccm you can deploy applications software updates operating system uh, you can also do operating system deployment just like mdt you know you don't need mdt at all you can use sccm to deploy operating system or you can integrate mdt in sccm and do the deployment of operating system content management you can use sccm to manage your contents all your applications and software updates so this is the main functionalities of sccm then you can have a compliance evaluation from sccm you can verify whether computers are compliant or non compliant power management suppose after 7 o'clock you want to turn off the monitors of all the computers you can do it from sccm client health so sccm gives you a dashboard of all the active and inactive clients so you can use that dashboard to do the troubleshooting of all inactive and you know the computers the the clients which are not reporting to sccm server properly reporting and monitoring you can get the reports and monitor sccm security you have role based administration so suppose if somebody is good with patching so you can grant patching role if somebody is good with operating system deployment you can grant operating system role so those roles are available in sccm so network access protection basically suppose if i this is a this is my laptop and i connect this laptop after a very long time and this laptop does not have the recent patches this is outdated does not have the updates so sccm will evaluate the compliance of the computer if the computer is non compliant and vulnerable then it will seize the network of that computer so that that computer cannot talk to another devices on the same network that is that falls under network access protection and then endpoint protection so suppose i have to deploy antivirus like symantec or norton you can use uh, sccm to do the deployment because endpoint protection comes uh, under sccm you don't have to pay extra for that it comes with the license of sccm its endpoint protection is nothing but a antivirus tool to keep your computer safe and secure then you have mdm microsoft uh, uh, sorry mobile device management so from sccm you can also manage android iphone mac other mobile devices so you can integrate in tune in sccm and that will help you to manage your mobile devices these are the um, basic functionalities of sccm which we will be doing practical for each uh, component when we go in the actual training